Scorpio, welcome to your Monday Quickie. Okay, so this is the Monday Quickie. This is a reading between you and your love interest. So for those of you that have absolutely no love interest in mind, not interested in anybody, not thinking about anybody, then this reading is not for you, okay? It is a general reading for those that have somebody that they're interested in romantically, okay? This is for your energy. This is for your love interest energy. This is going to be a quick Monday reading. I make the other readings a little bit longer. So let's check it out. Let's see what's going on. And then I'll do a mutual point of interest. I've already been meditating on your cards. I've already burnt the sage for your cards. And I have the healing stones sur surrounding your reading. So let's go ahead and get started. So keep in mind, this is general. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Things may happen like right now, tomorrow, the next day, a week from now. Some things may happen in the future. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's going on. For Scorpio, please. Now, this is supposed to be your energy, but I want to say that it can go vice versa, okay? I can't control the cards. Sometimes the energies will crisscross, so you can kind of feel, you know, how it fits your life and your situation and your love interest in their situation. Outside influences, friends, family, somebody very close to you can affect the reading as well. If it's definitely affecting your life, it should show up in the cards, okay? If you're not feeling this at all, it's not for you. Go check the playlist. For the astrological signs, there's 12, of course, and um, pick pick yours and pick your love interest. You can cross-watch and see if maybe that matches you further. Okay, Scorpio, I have the Five of Pentacles. You may be feeling kind of left behind at the moment, or maybe you're going through some financial loss. Maybe you're not feeling well. For Scorpio, please. Oh, but here, look at this. You have the Knight of Wands. Now, this has been showing up in your readings a lot, okay? This is what they call the in and out knight. He's a pretty fast knight, pretty passionate knight, and they want to usually come in and, you know, basically have a very intimate evening day with you, spend some time with you, and you may not be expecting this, but let's keep going here. We're going to keep going, and now in the extended, if this does resonate for you, I will do the continuation over in Vimeo. You can see the link down below or in the description box for those of you that know me well. That, um, <clears throat> excuse me, will be available right after this reading. And if it's not available right there, that means it's uploading. But I will notify you in the description box down below as well. In the comment section if it's still uploading. You have the page of swords, okay? So someone may be suddenly rushing in passionately to give you some truth, some clarity, whatever the case may be. The page of swords is, is a messenger, okay? And that's Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. The wands is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. You could be dealing with any sign, okay? Your person may have a lot of air, fire, and earth in their chart. They may have all three. So I just want you to know that it's more about the energy of the cards that I'm feeling. I'm feeling like perhaps you're left behind, or they may be. They may have left somebody behind, and they're coming in passionately towards you to speak the truth. This is a message. They may be bringing a message of truth with a great deal of passion. Now let's check out your love interest, and then we'll go into the extended. Like I said, this is a quickie Monday reading to give you a forecast, okay? Now, this could be for the next week. This could be for the next two weeks. This is a timeless video. Whenever you're feeling this energy, it's for you. It can definitely happen in the future, okay? For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, spirits, what can you tell Scorpio about their love interest? How are they feeling? What is the action they're taking towards Scorpio? Where is this relationship going, please, spirits? What can you tell Scorpio? What do they need to know about their love interest energy right now? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for Monday, June 17th, 2019. Please, spirits, what is going on with their love interest? How are they feeling about Scorpio? What action will they take? What are their intentions, please, with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Thank you, spirits. What are their, What is their energy? What is going on? What does Scorpio need to know, please? What does Scorpio need to know, please, spirits? They'll drop out in a moment. I've shuffled the other deck longer, and they were smoking hot, and they fell out. There we go. Look at that. You may be dealing with a Taurus, okay? This hero font is a major arcana. So when a major arcana shows up in your spread, that's somebody or something of significance. You could be dealing with somebody who is a leader of a company, a leader of a religious group, somebody who is high up. Uh, the hero font is usually a marriage or someone that wants commitment or believes in traditional values, okay? Could be dealing with a Taurus. Oh my goodness. This is two cards of Taurus. This is the Empress, another major arcana. 
Okay, so this may represent marriage to a Libra or a Taurus or a mother. Um, let's keep going. Now, give me one moment. One card just fell on the floor. Now, I'm not going to take that one because it, it just that my, my arm got caught on it. Whoa, I am going to take that one, though, for your love interest. Just completely flew on the floor. That one was meant to be. Look at this. Another major arcana. This is about patience, okay? This is a temperance card, patience. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Someone is trying to find their balance. This is spirit saying that this is guided by the universe to find balance, moderation, and self-control and patience. Before you can get to this golden crown you see down here, you have to exercise patience and find your balance. So I feel like, you know, um, Maybe somebody's trying to find balance with a mother of their children in a marriage. That could be, um, if that's you or your love interest, or this is a Taurus looking for patience in a marriage. We're going to keep going here. We'll be doing a lot of clarifying here, so just give me a moment. Whew, let's go ahead and cl clarify that Herald font first. Clarify the Herald font here, please, for Scorpio. This is a heavy reading already, Scorpio. This is just, I'm a Scorpio, and this is heavy already. I'm, like, wanting to take a deep breath. Seriously, this is, whew, let me know what's going on in the comment section. Your readings have been so heavy, but they've been really, really great, though, too. So let's see what's going on here, the Herald font. Okay. Apparently, they definitely have something to say immediately. They just jumped out immediately. Okay, well, the Hierophant. This is strange because this is the card of being single, abundant, self-sufficient, clarifying the Hierophant. Okay, the Hierophant could be a Taurus. If you're involved with a Taurus or someone who's religious or has very traditional values, this is someone who is abundant and self-sufficient on their own and single, maybe wanting to become married okay maybe you're a mother of children or a motherly type of person or your love interest is a taurus okay two cards of taurus here could be a libra but i'm seeing strong taurus here who is very abundant nurturing loving and single and you're being asked to or they're being asked to or both of you could be to find your patience and your balance. Or maybe they're trying to find their balance right now and Spirit's asking you to be patient. I feel like perhaps either you or they are feeling left out in the cold. I'm feeling this might be you and feeling some financial loss. But there's someone wanting to come in here quite passionately and tell you the truth. So maybe your person, uh, you know, is very single and abundant and going through a process of needing to find their balance that's kind of how i'm feeling but they're 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 a very loving nurturing person again strong taurus taurus energy here it could be a virgo or a capricorn or a libra or a sagittarius again i'm seeing fire air and earth in their chart that's what i'm feeling the five of swords came out there you go okay so that's why they or you or both of you are needing to find sort of your balance here they could be healing right now and trying to find their balance this is about see somebody's laying down their swords here they could have had fights and arguments with family or friends or loved ones and they're going through this struggle right now but they are winning and they're being guided by the angels here to find their balance patience self-control moderation they could be healing right now after this big battle because again, I, I'm seeing here that they are single and abundant and self-sufficient here. That's what I'm seeing. Let's go ahead and clarify your five of pentacles. And then we're going to go into the extended. Okay, like I said, this is supposed to be a quickie Monday, Monday and mine are never quickies. <laughs> I just can't seem to make it. Five of pentacles, that's, that's the Scorpio in me. I got to dig. I got to dig. It's horrible. It's a curse. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, my... I know all of you like it because I dig deeper, right? The Five of Pentacles. Please clarify that. Oh, that's way too many spirit. Now, if those are meant to come out again, they will. Again, in the extended, I'm also going to pull the Romance Angels and see if there's any messages from the universe from the Romance Angels. I'm also going to see the mutual, you know, feelings between two of you. And I'm going to pull some angel cards as well. 
Okay, they look like that. We'll get some angel message cards. Let's go ahead. Clarify that Five of Pentacles, please, for Scorpio. What's going on? Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Clarify the Five of Pentacles for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is this Five of Pentacles here? Woo, flying out. Okay, this is very interesting. This is about someone being left, left behind, being sort of... Um, maybe financially strapped, someone feeling ill, could be depression. Overall, like no, just not in a well state, struggling. It, think of it as struggling, okay? They're struggling to get through perhaps some financial difficulties. That's what Pentacles is, is about money coins. And it's, it's not a good feeling, okay? So somebody may have walked away and, um, or this could be you feeling this way. It could be both of you. But yet it's clarified by a beautiful, overflowing love here okay so someone may have walked away and walking toward you with this beautiful cup with passion and clarity or news to bring you clarity that could be you may not know that yet because this is about a message of truth but we're gonna keep going let's keep going and this could be you this could be you bringing someone else a message of truth and love but from your previous readings this seems to be the way it's constantly going so what I'm gonna check out now is the five of swords and we're gonna move to the extended because we need to dig a lot deeper on this five of Pentacles which I'm gonna put here above there because that clarified that we need to still dig deeper on this ace of cups we want to know this page of swords for sure let's clarify the nine of Pentacles please for Scorpio's love interest what is this nine of Pentacles about are they single what is this Wow, wanting to jump out. Yes, okay. So they've gone through maybe a completion, a life lesson, a journey. This is about a new journey after completion. And again, we're seeing Taurus here, Leo. So there again is fire and um, earth, and then Aquarius and Scorpio. So there there it all is. That That's the fire, the earth, the air, and Scorpio, you being water so it's very interesting how that that has clarified the nine of pentacles i believe that someone has completed a life lesson they've completed a, jour a journey and so now they're they're single and they're ready to start brand new and here we have brand new love over here oh yeah look at that wheel of fortune so this has been the way the readings have gone for you for quite some time now scorpio wheel of fortune major arcana this is something that is faded this is a completion that was faded, and I mean, look at these major arcanas. The Hierophant, Temperance, Empress, the World card, and the Wheel of Fortune. This is all for your love interest. They are going through some serious, major adjustments, transitions, changes that was meant to happen. This is all faded by the universe. The World card, the Temperance card, the, the, the Wheel of Fortune. This is something that is faded by the universe to complete. They've had to go through a few life lessons. I feel that they're healing and they're trying to find their balance again, that they've been through a battle. And this, again, I can't, I can't specify this enough. This seems to be happening almost every reading. Not exactly the same, but very similar. So this is going to move your person, though, in the right direction when this wheel turns. This is the universe taking, taking control now, okay? Let's go and dig a lot deeper into the extended. Uh, and uh, again, leave me any messages down below. I would love to hear from you. This is somebody's wanting to come in with truth and passion, no doubt about it. And they're and I feel that they're being pushed by the universe now for sure. I feel that quite strongly. So meet me over at the extended. I'll clarify the Five of Pentacles again. Definitely the Ace of Cups. We definitely have to clarify the Knight of Wands and the Page of Swords. I'm going to clarify the Wheel of Fortune. See what direction we're going in. What's happening with this battle? Is it finished? Are we moving more forward, etc.? So meet me over there. I hope this resonated for you. And uh, yeah, please like, subscribe, share. And I will talk to you soon. And for those of you this resonated with, I will see you at Vimeo. Thank you so much. Bye for now.